So today we're gonna to talk about how fees distort markets. We're gonna talk about it in three different series. Today we're gonna to talk about how fees can impact yield, which is a little more obvious, um, but we're gonna talk about derivatives of those fees as well that might impact your yield. And then second, we're gonna talk about how fees impact the market values, which seems strange, right? How can the market value of a thing change based on the fees that circle around it? Isn't value intrinsic to the asset? We're gonna talk about it in the second video. In the third, we'll do a summary of these two uh, concepts and maybe some suggestions on how, how what to look out for them and how to manage your fees in your investments. So today we're gonna talk about yield. Um, and just as an example, hourly rates and transactional, but the thing you pay your advisors for drives their behavior. If you pay somebody hourly, they will find hours. I learned this early on at five years old, my dad hired the neighbor kid to mow our lawn. He spent half a day mowing a posted size lawn. Um, was meticulously grooming every blade of grass, it seemed. And so hourly behavior drive, or hourly fees drive hourly behavior, right? Transactional fees drive transactions. These are kind of out of the investment world uh, for the most part today. So we moved to this assets from a management model, which sounds great, it sounds aligned. I mean, the big pitch is, hey, if you make more money, I make more money. We're in this together, right? But you think about it, if the S&P gets 7%, let's just say, and I work really, really hard, and I outperform it by 10% of the S&P, that's 7.7%. How much does my yield actually change as the advisor, my fee change by outperforming? I mean, if I did nothing, it grew by 7%. And if I really outperformed, I grew it by 7.7%. It doesn't make a lot of difference, but if I take extra risk to try to really grow it, it might actually reduce this baseline fee that I get as my livelihood. It's much better for me to just collect new assets from new clients, right? I'll go out and get a new $10 million client and a new $10 million client, and then I'll triple my $10 million that I had from you. And that impacts my lifestyle. But really growing your portfolio doesn't really impact me much. So we see underperforming assets in our management accounts most often because the risk for the advisor to grow it is not consistent with the uh, rewards. It's not, it's a much lower reward for the risk to take and grow it versus the risk of losing that lifestyle. Advisory fees, these seem to be more aligned, annual fixed fees or per service fees, but when you fix the cost of something, or fix the, the revenue generated by something, then the motive of the advisor is to reduce the cost put into that revenue. Reduce cost relative to the fixed fee generates more profit. What is the cost for advisor? Time, energy, and effort, right? So make sure you know what you're getting when you deal with those fees. Now, in expenses, which is more true in, um, in PE fund type investments, but it could be uh, over on the uh, public equity marketable side as well, hedge funds, things like that. Due diligence and private equity, oh, it's so abusive. People will transfer their risk. For a 2% management fee and 20% of the back end, shouldn't the fund manager be taking the risk of analyzing the investment? But what people they would do is transfer that risk, the CYA process of transfer that risk to people and because the expense is borne by the investors, I don't care how much it costs. I will overpay for the CPA, attorney, and financial advisors to tell me, the analysts to tell me about the risk so I can put it in my files and be protected from the investors. I'm not gonna bear the risk of it. So that risk transfer is expensive. Litigation costs flow through to investors, that's another one. I might be uh, sensitive to litigation if I'm not if I'm bearing the cost, but if I'm not bearing the cost, what is it? What's, what, I'll just sue over everything. I'll actually t engage in litigation at a right pace. Advisors. Hiring outside advisors to work in the companies or to work um, on the companies as third party uh, contractors. Who am I hiring and why am I paying them? What's the value add? If those costs are directly borne by the investors, and a lot of funds they are, then I might hire my buddies. And I might do it because they provide value in some other way to me, right? Because it's not actually me bearing the cost. Same with manager allocations, there are lots of lawsuits over this, I, one you can count, where managers will take their expenses and push them into the portfolios. So some administrative expenses being split up between the fund manager and the portfolios. So lots of lawsuits with big institutional uh, PE funds in this matter, as well as small ones. So these are all expenses that could directly impact your yield that aren't obvious. So you need to be aware of these and look for them in your investments. 